So in this video, we are going to learn how the add impulse node works in Unreal Engine. So over here, I am using the third person project template. And if I were to try running this, and if I were to press the E key, you can see that a cube gets spawned in front of our character and it moves forward. So once again, if I were to press the E key again, you can see the cube gets spawned. Wherever my character is looking at, which is the get forward location of my character. And as soon as the cube gets spawned, the begin event play inside these cubes has the add impulse node. And that actually creates this force over here. Alright. So if I were to go to the third person character, you can see when I press the E key, we are calling a function over here called spawn some object. And that is this one over here. We are basically calculating the distance at which the cube needs to get spawned. And after we calculate, we pass that transform value to the spawn actor over here. Alright. And inside this class is the BP cube object. And that blueprint is this one over here. So we have a cube over here. And in the event graph, we have the event begin play over here. Actually, we don't need this part over here. And as you can see, we have the add impulse node over here. And our target is the cube over here. Alright, so the cube static mesh. So once again, you're getting the forward vector of this actor. And we're multiplying this with a large number over here. And this is something that even I got confused at when I was first trying to use this add impulse node over here. This node over here is part of the physics system in Unreal Engine. Obviously that means in the cube static mesh over here, you must enable the simulate physics over here. Otherwise, this node over here will not work. And the reason why we need to give a large number to the impulse over here for this to actually move. So if I were to give this a smaller number, for example a hundred, try compiling this and then try running this again. You can see our cube doesn't even move an inch. So we need to actually give a large number over here to actually see this working. And again, the reason for that is because, once again, this is part of the physics system. And if you don't know how force works, it is taking our mass of this static mesh into account. Unreal Engine automatically determines the mass of your object based on your scaling. So if I were to give a smaller value over here, for example 0.5 and compile this and then try running this. Now notice how fast the cube is going to move. The cube is moving at a much greater velocity and that is because the scale of our cube is much smaller. Alright, so this is something very important to keep in mind while using the add impulse node over here. So yeah, that's really about it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.